Hi guys and welcome to the iOS Mac and Tech channel. I have great news for you. For those of you who don't know, Google launched the Photosphere app on iOS. Now this app has been available for the Android for quite a while and people have been enjoying making 360 photos and publishing them to Google Maps. Now this app allows you to publish up-to-date maps of roads and every environment you want to demo on Google Maps. For example, you go on vacation and you want to show a beach, mountains, whatever, even in front of your building, roadblocks, etc. So let's like, get into it. I'll launch the app and I will show you what this app can do actually. And let's open up a demo image right here. And let's turn it sideways, all right. As you can see, here are some nice mountains. And you can scroll around. And Google does a quite a, fi a fine job stitching these together. As you can see, it's almost done seamlessly. If I move quickly, then you can see some lagging and the edges of the pictures. But otherwise, this is a very nice 360 photo. I've been trying to do one myself, but you have to be out in the open. If some object is too close to you, you will get some uh, interesting results, uh, meaning that the photo will stitch itself together and it won't be done properly. So let's see what it can do. All right, so you have zoom here, zoom out. As you can see, if I zoom out, you will see kind of a effect that this is a 360 if I zoom in a bit and scroll like this nothing happens and it seems normal all right and let's get right into the app how you can do this actually all right in order to do that so that's my location right there just press the camera button on the right corner down right is an orange camera button so let's press it now and as you can see I will need to point the camera at the dot so I'm going to point the camera at the dot all right great and now the second one and so on and so forth and if I say I'm done so I will just make some more pictures just bear with me and I will stitch them together. Looks like it malfunctioned a bit. It might be a bug. Just bear with me. Let's see what we have so far, if we have anything. It says it's not published and could we... No, I think it's stitching the photosphere. No problem, we will have a short demo right here, so I'm not gonna keep you much longer. Yeah, all right. And it says success. Let's go right into it and see what it looks like. Okay, so this is not a good job at first glance, but bear in mind that I did not have too much time to work on it. Maybe we'll try again. What do you say? And I could just delete this because this is garbage. I have no idea how to delete this. So, okay, remove map. Yep, that's it. All right, let's try again. Okay, point the camera and shoot. Yeah, it seems to malfunction while I'm recording, so I think you get the picture and you will be able to stitch up some nice photos like here, I'm demoing, try it out, it's Google, and you will be able to publish it to Google Maps. You will enter your location and just publish it right to Google and everyone will be able to see where you have been. Okay, so I have there my email address, my camera tips, let's see tips. All right, as you can see here, right, 
So just hold your phone close and stay away from objects and capture the full scene so you can rotate 360 but the app will help you so don't worry about that and publish to Google Maps and help discover new places. Okay, what else do we have here? We have settings. We have resolution, low, medium and high, geotech, photosphere, save to album, upload over Wi-Fi, help section, terms of services, privacy policy, open source licenses and send crash report and finally open link in Chrome. So hopefully you guys will try this app out. I loved it so far. It's stitching up photos quite nicely when it does that. So um, I'm not going to try it anymore because I'm recording. So this will not be a proper one. But as you can see, this is another trial of mine and it's working out great. So yeah, if you have the patience to try it out and you're not recording something while you're doing it, this app will work perfectly and you can publish some stuff to Google Maps. Alright guys, this has been iOS Mac and Tech and stay tuned for other interesting episodes. Also guys, if you like my videos, make sure you check out my other videos I made on this channel. And if you really like what I'm doing and you want to stay up to date with everything I do, just hit the subscribe button and you will get notified of the latest updates.